Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Claydesk, your one-stop destination for latest courses, tech trends, tech tips, fixes and all things digital. So today I'm going to dive into that frustrates so many of us, which is YouTube TV problems and fixes. So whether you're dealing with buffering nightmares or playback errors, I've got you covered right here. So stick around because I not only walk you through the most common problems, but also their step-by-step -step fixes. So by the end of this video, your streaming experience will be back on track. So let's dive right in. The first problem is buffering or freezing streams. Wow. The dreaded spinning wheel that you get. So buffering issues is one of the most common problems that users face. Now you're halfway through your favorite show and suddenly the video stutters or freezes entirely. Bummer. Well, why does this happen first, right? So it's because of slow or unstable internet connection. Too many devices connected to the same network. Outdated app version or device software is also a cause. How do you actually fix these? Well, first, check your internet speed, right? YouTube TV recommends at least three megabits per second for standard streaming and 13 megabits for HD using an online speed test to ensure that it meets your connections. Do an online speed test. Restart your router or modem. A quick reboot can often fix connectivity issues. Unplug them for at least 30 seconds and then plug them back right in. You can also try to prioritize your streaming devices, right? For example, disconnect your unnecessary devices from your Wi-Fi to free up bandwidth. You can also try to update the YouTube TV app. Go to your app store, check for updates, and you can simply download the update. And this can cause performance hiccups if it's not updated. Let's move on to the second problem, black screen startup. Well, you open your YouTube TV and instead of your shows, all you see is a black screen. Well, what gives, right? Why does this actually happen in the first place? Because of temporary glitches is because the corrupted cache or app data can cause this. How do you fix these? Well, first close and relaunch the app. On mobile devices, for example, swipe up to close the app entirely and relaunch the app. And if you're watching on a smart TV, use the remote to close and reopen the app itself. Certainly clear cache and data also. So if you're an Android, go to settings, YouTube TV, clear cache, simple. If you're on smart TV, find the app settings and clear cache right there. You can try to reinstall the app also. So if the problem persists, uninstall and simply reinstall YouTube TV. Now this clears out the corrupted files because it helps. And three, problem playback errors. That's the third problem area, right? So you're excited to watch a game or movie and you know, whatever time, and you're hit with an error code like 307. Well, what do you do? And why does this happen? So server side issues from YouTube happen you know, from time to time, like account authentication problems, for example, or network instability could happen. How do you fix this? Straightforward, check YouTube TV status first. Second, visit you know, websites if others are reporting the same problems or not. Log out and log back in. Sometimes re-authenticating your account can fix the problem. You can also try to switch networks, by the way. So for example, if you're using Wi-Fi, try switching to mobile data or vice versa. You can contact support also and find out if the error is from their side. And if it persists, you, you, know, you should reach out to your YouTube TV support. If you have a problem, that's the fourth problem. If you have audio video sync, this is super annoying by the way, it happens too, because you don't know what's happening on the screen, right? Why this happens primarily is because temporary lag in streaming is basically the issue, right? Or device compatibility issues. How do you actually fix this? Well, pause and resume playback. Let it buffer. A simple pause can resync audio and video at times. If that doesn't happen, well, try restarting the device or turn off your streaming device and then turn it back right on. 
You can also check HDMI connection because that's sometimes loose, right? So if you're using a streaming box or stick, ensure that HDMI cable is securely plugged in, by the way. You can adjust audio settings also. So for example, on some devices, tweaking the audio delay settings can result you know, in solving this issue. And number five problem, can't access certain channels. Well, why, you know, for example, why aren't your favorite channels showing up? Why this happens, right? Well, location-based restrictions is, could be the cause. So subscription tier limitations could be another cause. How do you fix this? Well, first enable location services, right? YouTube TV requires access to your location to show local channels. Make sure your device's location services is turned on. Then you can check your subscription plan also. Some channels, by the way, might only be available with an upgraded plan. And double check what your current plan includes. That's sometimes overlooked. You can use a VPN, but with caution, right? So if you're traveling and want to access your home channels, a VPN can certainly help. But be aware that this may violate the YouTube's terms and service. So disclaimer. Number six, app crashing frequently. Well, an app that keeps crashing is beyond frustrating. Now, why does this happen? Insufficient device storage is the cause. Well, software bugs could be another area. And how do you actually fix all of this? Well, free up storage, okay? Deleting used apps on your device to make room for smoother app performance is key. You can also try to update your device's OS, operating system. Running and updating operating systems can lead to app crashes. So, number seven, problem remote control or casting issues. Now, why does this actually happen, okay? Miscommunication between your device and your TV, that's the cause. Well, outdated firmware or your TV streaming devices could be another cause. How do you fix this? Let me give you the idea. Well, reconnect the casting devices. So ensure your phone and TV are on the same Wi-Fi network. Disconnect and reconnect to reestablish the link. Then you can try to update firmware on your streaming devices or smart TV. Well, check the settings menu on your device for updates. You can also try to restart devices, by the way. That helps because restart both your smartphone and the device you're casting to, such as the Chromecast, Roku, or Fire Stick. Number eight, problem with DVR recording issues. Why does that happen, okay? Well, misconfigure settings for recording is the cause. Or it could be lack of available storage space on your DVR. How do you fix this, by the way? Well, you can ensure that the show is set to record. Then you can check your library to confirm whether the program is added for recording. You can also verify your storage as well. While YouTube TV offers unlimited storage, older recordings may get deleted after nine months, so keep that in mind. So double check the status of folders or saved programs. You can also contact support for missing recordings and they can help you. If something isn't recording despite being set up correctly, YouTube support can certainly investigate and server side issues and bring you the data. And number nine, no sound on playback. Well, why does that actually happen, right? Why do you get no sound? Well, volume muted, on the device is common. Audio settings or incompatibility is another area you want to look into. How do you actually fix these things? Well, check all volume levels to begin with. Ensure that the device volume, app volume, and TV volume are not muted. You can switch audio to another area, right? If using external speakers, for example, or a sound bar, ensure it's correctly configured properly. You can test by switching between internal and external speakers. That helps. You can also reset audio settings as well. On, for example, smart TV or streaming boxes, you can reset the audio output to the default settings and then try it out. And number 10 is problem with the subscription related errors. That's pretty common. Now, why does that actually happen in the first place? Payment method issues is common. You may give a credit card or 
you know, your payment issues doesn't work or could be geographical restrictions or subscription issues. How do you fix this? Simple, verify payment information to start with. Make sure your card details are up to date and your Google account, that's important. You can also check your subscription status from you know, off and on. Log into your account and confirm your subscription is active or not. Then you can update your area settings as well. So for example, if you've moved recently, update your home area in YouTube TV settings to avoid various interruptions. And number 11, right? Channel guide is not loading properly. That's fairly common. Now, why does that actually happen? Let me elaborate on this. So temporarily app glitches occur. It could be cache or data corruptions that could happen. And how do you actually fix these two things? Straightforward. Simply refresh the app, close and reopen the app to refresh the channel guide. You can also try to clear cache. And I've talked about this earlier. Clear the app cache. And I keep saying this, right? Because that's helps you, you know, clear all the recent data. You can restart the device also. So a quick restart can force the app to reload fresh data. And number 12, you have limited profile or profile issues. Well, why does this happen? Conflicts between different profiles using the same account occur. Now, profile limitations in terms of customization, for example, right? How do you actually fix all of this? Well, manage profiles, take a look at, go to settings and ensure you set up unique profiles for each user. Switch profiles for each user. So if one profile is causing trouble, switch to another to see if the issue persists or not. You can try to create a new profile, by the way, right? If all else fails, delete and recreate the problematic profile altogether. Number 13, and this is common, the video quality drops automatically. Why does it actually happen, right? So adaptive streaming reduces quality based on bandwidth availability. So how do you fix this? Straightforward, manually set video quality to your choice. Tap the settings during playback and select a specific resolution like 1080p, 480p or 720. Switch to a wired connection, and that's faster, because for smart TVs or streaming devices, a wired ethernet connection ensures stable high-speed internet coming directly to your TV. You can try to upgrade your internet plan also to get more bandwidth if that's the primary issue, so consider a higher internet package. Number 14, and say app is not available in your region. Now, why does that happen, right? How to fix this? So regional restrictions, on YouTube TV service are there. How do you fix them? What is a workaround? Well, verify service availability in the first place. Check the YouTube TV website to confirm that it's supported in your area. Use a VPN with caution, and I've talked about this, right? A VPN can bypass the regional restrictions, but may violate YouTube TV's terms of service. So keep that in mind. Disclaimer. You can also contact support for verification if you're not sure, right? So if you believe this is an error, certainly reach out to customer support and get your answer. Number 15, problems with picture in picture mode. Why does this happen, which is called PIP? Well, it's because of compatibility issues with your device. Bugs in the app version. It could be, you know, one of those two. How do you fix this? So enable picture and picture in device settings. For Android, go to settings app on YouTube TV picture and picture and ensure it's toggled on. So restart the app and device when you do that. So restarting can resolve temporarily glitches, like I mentioned earlier. You can also try to update the app and get the updates. Make sure you got the latest version. Ensure the YouTube TV app and your device operating systems are up to date. And number 16, problem error recording content. Now, why does that actually happen, okay? Server-side issues with DVR functionality happen off and on. Well, how do you fix this? It's a simple fix. Retry playback player, okay? Recorded content may become temporarily unavailable due to maintenance or server issue at the YouTube end. So check for DVR conflicts also. Ensure there are no conflicts with overlapping recordings. 
re-record the content also. If the issue persists, set the program to record again, right? Number 17, the parental controls are not working and this is fairly common. Now, why does that actually happen? Because of incorrect configuration of parental settings. You don't have it right. How do you fix this? Well, double check the account settings. Go to account settings. Make sure parental controls are enabled for the correct profile. That's fairly common. Reapply restrictions accordingly, right? And remove and reapply content restrictions to ensure they are working. So also you can try testing on a separate device. Use another device to see if the settings sync properly across accounts. You can also, well, these are the top 17 common problems and fixes. So there you have it, folks. These are the most common TV problems and their fixes. I hope this video helped you without any interruptions. You get the most common problems. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell icon to stay updated for more tech tips from Claydex. And if you have faced any issues that I did not cover, drop them in the comments down below and I'm going to get you an answer. Thanks for watching. As always, keep streaming and stay tech savvy. My name is Syed and see you in the next video.